welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a cook with me and I'm so excited because it's been a while. It is a weeknight so it's going to be quick but healthy and I'm so excited. It's my first time ever making it so we're just going along with the recipe and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. We're going to be using ground chicken and making a Greek ground chicken meatball and making kind of like a bowl with rice, tzatziki sauce, cucumbers, romaine lettuce, feta cheese, I'm really excited and the kids are excited. So come along with us while we make this. And I hope everyone is doing well and you're happy and you're healthy and things are going good for you. And if you haven't yet, I would love you to subscribe, become part of the family. Also check me out on Instagram and TikTok at thriftytiffany35. Love for you to join me. Now I'm gonna flip the camera around so we can get started. To start off with, you're gonna need two pounds of ground chicken. And ground chicken right now is pretty affordable. So that's why I picked up some at the store and I was looking for different recipes to use with it. So I got two of those, you need two pounds. You need red pepper flakes, which I'm almost out of, uh, oregano, dill weed, and cumin, salt and pepper. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys, this is that little turntable I got from the Target Dollar Spot. I love it. It holds all my little stuff there, but you'll need salt and pepper as well. Also avocado oil, one red onion, lemon zest, four cloves of garlic, and feta cheese so I got feta crumbles and tzatziki sauce of course some tzatziki sauce and this was actually on sale for $3.99 which is good because it's boar's head and this was on sale for $3.99 I have my white rice already going in here I just use rice out of here we use jasmine and I love this rice cooker I talk about it every cook with me it was a $20 $19.99 I think at Target or Walmart but it's the best rice cooker we literally use it twice a day um, we always cook just plain steamed white rice, which is just the rice, um, pink salt. That's what we use here. Pink salt or Himalayan pink salt and all of, uh, avocado oil. That's it. Literally. That's it. We do two cups of rice to three cups of water and it comes out literally perfect every time and came in like makes all his little dishes with it. But so that, and then over here we have I know it's non bread. They had no pita bread, which we wanted pita. So I got this one because that's literally all they had. And then romaine lettuce, and this is my little salad turner. I love to cut up the lettuce. And then I got this thing from Ikea and it was cheap, but it really makes the lettuce crispy because you can drain all the water out after you wash it. But so we're gonna have to use non. You don't really need that. The recipe doesn't call for this, but Cash requested it to have the Greek chicken meatballs with. Um, it's supposed to be a bowl, so it's supposed to be without the this. You're just supposed to have it with the rice. But if you want that, you can get that. That's not that's not in the recipe, but all right, we're gonna get started. I've talked too much. And um, I got a big bowl here, and we're gonna start with the chicken. First, before we start cooking, cheers, y'all. We're gonna just take, I only have a little bit left, and this is Ciroc mango. And you just gotta start it off with a little shot, y'all. And the food just tastes better. Cheers to y'all. We're gonna get busy in this kitchen. We're gonna get started. I'll put a little light up here so hopefully you guys can see. Get started. I have all the seasonings. Y'all know I don't follow recipes, so we're going with the flow. We got some cumin, some salt. This is two pounds of meat, so be liberal with it. Dill weed, red pepper, and pepper, oregano. Y'all know what oregano smells like to me? Pencil shavings. We're gonna mix, let me get a, I mix with a fork and then see what I need to do from here. Again, it's two pounds of meat. I love all of my stuff, very flavorful. I think I need some more, y'all. We're gonna add some more dill since we don't have the mint. I'm sure the mint makes it taste more Greek. A little bit more cumin, more oregano, pepper. All right. We gotta add the garlic and the lemon zest. Let me go ahead and zest the limo. The onion and the garlic. I'll cut the onion first. Mm. 
I love red onion, y'all. I pickled some cucumbers and red onion the other day, and it was so good. Let me show you, actually. This is the pickled onions and cucumbers that I did, and it's so good, and it's so simple, y'all. You just use, like, white vinegar or red wine vinegar and um, a little bit of sugar, salt, pepper, and you can add, like, like Italian seasoning if you want in there. I just did it regular. Cut up some fresh cucumbers, cut up your... Um, red onions and that's it y'all just let it sit and it's so good literally so good i like using this light you guys can see a lot clearer and up close i'm trying to get better quality videos trying y'all comment below if you like this video i wish i had an island y'all so i can set up the camera and i can just like film just the whole process, the movement, the the everything, but I don't have an island, but it would be nice. If I could set it in the middle of the kitchen and you can like see the stove, like see everything. I want a big kitchen so bad. I want a big island, a big kitchen, one of those like industrial refrigerators. I need to start warming up my pan too. And this is a quick dinner because the only thing you're cooking is the meatballs. And you're just putting it in a, well, the meatballs and the rice. But when I cook rice, it's like not even a thing because it's in a rice cooker. Like it's, it's not stressful. It's in a rice cooker. That's why I would suggest you guys get a rice cooker. They're amazing. Let's see how I could cut these. I'm always looking for new recipes in the Ziploc bag. Can make some more pickled cucumbers. Oh, I gotta get the cucumbers. I needed a cu oh, I hate, I hate when these bags do this. Like I love Dollar Tree, but why does that bag do that? I don't know. These will be for some pickled onions and cucumbers. I will remake some of these. I totally forgot. You'll also need tomatoes and the cucumber. Cash, I'm in the kitchen. Cash was FaceTiming me. I already have the onions in here. So now we're gonna do the four cloves. All right, a tip I've shared with you guys several times. Um, hold on, let me cut this. With a knife, I learned this in culinary school. The back is thicker, as you can see, than this, this side is thicker. So to, to mince your garlic, Take your, look, the rice just popped up. Mm -hmm, it's done. I, see, I love it. It's already done. The rice is done. So you take your garlic here and then take the back of your knife because it has more space. And you're just going to act like you're cutting, but at this, but what you're actually doing is like smushing it and cutting it at the same time. So it's mincing it. Let me see if I, I have to go here. Like if I could show you up close, it smushes and minces it at the same time. So you don't have huge chunks of garlic in your food like it's smushed and minced all together just be careful again this is the sharp side up so be careful anyone around you and then you can go back if you want and chop a little bit if you want but yeah just use the back smush smush like literally like you're chopping just act like you're chopping it does it so wonderfully that's one thing they taught us in culinary school which i always use always use it also have the oven warming for that non bread. The recipe doesn't ask for, for bread. It's just the rice. It's a bowl, the salad bowl. All right, we're gonna add that to the meat mixture. All right, this is what it's looking like. Now we're gonna mix it. We're going to be adding our avocado oil. You can use olive oil in the pan so we can start cooking these meatballs. We got to roll them up. Here's the mixture and just take you a scoop and start making some meatballs, some chicken balls. Here we go. I'm doing too big, big enough like this. Let's see. All right, there we go. I'm going to keep going. Y'all, this smells so good. I'm gonna flip these. 
turn that down some. We got to cut some of these lettuce, romaine lettuce, and then we're going to rinse it in this. This is the first batch and we're about to start on the second one, white rice. Now I'm gonna cut some cucumber, y'all. You can just fix your bowl however you want it with the lettuce, the cucumber, the rice, the tzatziki sauce. Um, if you wanna have the pita bread with it. Tomatoes. I'm gonna cut some tomatoes too. Now I'm gonna chop up the Tomatoes, you can do whatever kind of tomatoes. I love these. These always taste really sweet. I like to rinse them. And then everybody can make their bowl like they like. Just cut them in half and then you can add salt and pepper. See how pretty these look, y'all? So just cut whatever you want in your bowl. Just pull these out of the oven. I just put a little butter on it. Everything is done. We have the meatballs, the bread, lettuce, feta, tzatziki, lemon slices, tomatoes, cucumbers, and white rice. And now we're gonna make our bowl. Cayman's already ate, y'all. <laughs> so we're gonna make our bowl now. Here's my plate, y'all, and dinner is done.